Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed are thou. All of us have those moments where we're struggling, struggling with self-worth, we're struggling with jobs, we're struggling with family members. And it's during times like that that we really need to turn our gaze on God and allow the Lord to interact with us. It's times like that that we need to see ourselves for what we really are. We're little children, immature little children. And we have a Father who loves us and who's there for us. I remember when I was growing up and I was very much loved by my dad. And I actually learned how to love other people from my loving parents. If we're really going to grow spiritually, we need to recognize that our God is a loving father to us. He's patient with us. He desires to draw us closer to himself. But this really requires a cooperation on our part. It means that we need to turn towards God with a humble heart as children. Not all puffed up with self-importance, but with the knowledge that anything that's going to happen that will benefit us spiritually and emotionally has got to come with the, with the embrace of our Heavenly Father. We also need to remem remember that it's not just God who loves us, but His Mother, the Holy Virgin, loves us. And she's not just the mother of God, but she is our mother. And so she's there waiting for us to ask her for help. So we're, it's not just about us reaching out to God. It's about us asking the saints in heaven to give us prayerful support. And it's turning our hearts and our minds and our gaze to the mother of God with the knowledge that she, as our mother, will plead before the Lord of hosts, Jesus Christ, her son, on our behalf. When you've got friends in high places, it just doesn't get any better than that. We need to become like a little child in our relationship with God. We need to humbly stand before the Lord and with an audible voice say, God, please help me. I want a deeper relationship and I'm standing before you as your child. And then we need to look to the Holy Virgin and ask for her to place her protective veil over us and realize that she is not only the mother of God, but she's also our mother and she's there to help us. And we need to remember that the saints in heaven are not only our friends, but they're friends in high places. And we let them know that we want to be with them for eternity. And we humbly ask their intercessory prayers on our behalf. So keep your focus on that which is of the utmost importance it's not about passing an exam in college. It's not about getting a better job. It's not about acquiring a nicer car. It's about finding inner peace, which is the promise that all of us have, regardless of what we're struggling with. And that inner peace can only come by us humbling ourselves before the Lord recognizing that we're but a child and that God, as our Father, is there waiting to embrace us and to give us everything that we need in this life that will lead us 
to life eternal. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and immortal Word of God.